What is up everyone, it is Sajambi and welcome back to another video. Have some Robux spare? Well let's run through all of the game passes that you can purchase in Epirophobia. Now if you're having trouble completing the game, then there are a total of 7 game passes to aid you in certain situations. These range from equipment upgrades to sprint buffs as well as some other useful abilities. Consider this a video to help you see what they look like before you buy them. And without further ado, let's begin. Costing 199 Robux, the advanced camera is a way to increase your vision throughout the darker portions of the game. When purchased and active, this game pass improves camera quality, increases camera zoom distance and adds a night vision mode to your camera. While camera quality and zoom may have a limited effect, they can still be used for spotting entities and points of interest at long distance. In addition, night vision will allow you to have better vision on levels and in areas which are extremely dark. Because cave system and lights out can be tricky ones to beat, this is a decent option if you are struggling to navigate the darkness of the pyrophobia. Now as the cheapest game pass, it's unsurprising that this provides players with the smallest overall benefit. Essentially, when active, this game pass upgrades your in-game flashlight, so it has a longer range, larger radius and increased brightness at a cost of 99 Robux. This is another game pass which grants better visibility in darker areas, however with no night vision it's understandable that this one is half the price of the advanced camera. As a result, this will be of no help in areas where you can already see. Overall, another one to help with visibility, with the lower impact justifying the lower price. Now Epirophobia can be frustrating when it comes to making progress in the levels, since limited stamina means you're stopping and starting fairly regularly. By purchasing the Metal Lungs Game Pass for 499 Robux, this can now be mitigated. With this Game Pass, stamina is greatly increased, meaning you can now run much further before needing to stop to regain it. When testing this in-game, Metal Lungs mean you can run for a maximum of around 40 seconds, compared to around 20 seconds for normal players. Stamina recovery is also much quicker if the game pass is active. This game pass is best used on level 6 and 11, but has benefits on pretty much every level where you need to explore the map. We have already covered game passes affecting sprint distance, but now we will go through one which will affect your sprint speed. Olympic Runner costs 349 Robux and when active you can sprint much faster compared to a normal player. This does not alter your stamina, so you will still sprint for around 16 seconds before slowing. Olympic Runner just allows you to cover more distance in this time frame. Olympic Runner is a great choice if you want to run through the levels faster, with extra speed 150 Robux cheaper than extra stamina. In this series so far, we have covered game passes affecting equipment and sprinting, now it's time for something a bit different. The Sixth Sense game pass costs 199 Robux and is a major help when it comes to spotting entities on the map. When active, this pass allows you to press a button to emit a wave from your position. If the wave hits an entity, it highlights it with a red circle from its general vicinity. But if the entity is close enough, then its body will be fully outlined in red. Sixth Sense also reveals players in your team using a similar method. It just outlines them in green rather than red. With Sixth Sense being a game pass with a unique benefit, the low price makes this one extremely useful on levels with roaming entities. Now for new players, Epirophobia can be a game which takes multiple attempts to get right. The 5 lives you get on easy mode may not be enough, but you can buy more at a cost of 199 Robux. With this game pass active, you receive an extra 5 lives to complete the game with. These can be used on any difficulty with the exception of Nightmare Mode. This one really depends on how good you are at the game. For new players, it could be completely useless, but for players with some experience, it can be the difference between completing the game and being sent back to the lobby. As the most expensive game pass, you would expect this to have game-changing features. It does, but not in the way that you would think. Buying and activating increased lobby means that you can queue for a game in a lobby of 10 rather than a normal lobby of 4. This doesn't change the challenges in any way, but increases the chance that someone in your lobby cracks a code or finds the exit, so that you can all make progress together. 
all levels will look the same, with the only change happening on level 15, where you'll be split into two boats if you queue with more than five people. In the end, this isn't a pay to win game pass, but if you want to queue up with more of your friends to experience a pyrophobia together, then it's a must have. That rounds up the game passes that are available to buy in a pyrophobia. I wouldn't say that these are necessary to complete the game, but they all provide a nice improvement to the gaming experience. I hope this video provided some information on what each game pass does and where best to use them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment down below if you have bought any of these yourselves. Finally, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a future video. See ya!